Rising to the surface after decades of planning, this is what should save a World Heritage site from rising sea levels. The first four mobile gates of a system of barriers built to protect the city of Venice from high tides were officially tested on Saturday. When completed in 2016, 78 of them will be raised from the bottom of the lagoon to stop tides as high as 3 meters from reaching the city. But chief engineer Hermes Reddy says the barriers will protect Venice without taking away all of its trademark high waters. Well, Venice uh, is flooded when the water reaches 80 centimeters above sea level, but we are closing the Mose, are going to close the Mose only when it is 1 meter and 10 above sea level. Otherwise, we will be obliged to close too much times. 1.10 uh, obliges us to close five times, 80 centimeters will oblige uh, more than 40, 50 times a year. And this will affect, in a certain way, either the sea ecosystem and the port authority. Venice has lived with high tides since its construction, but rising sea levels and land subsidence means they are higher and more frequent. In the last 100 years, Venice has sunk 23 centimeters, and experts have long called for a solution before it's too late. This system of barriers has been in the making for a long time. It was first conceived 30 years ago, and it has been under construction for 10 years. At $7 billion, this is one of the most expensive and complex projects ever attempted in Italy. But while it is supposed to stop high tides from reaching Venice, the barriers have attracted a wave of criticism. Some local residents believe that stopping the tides from coming into Venice will change the lagoon's ecosystem and will turn Venice into a stagnant pond. But experts here say the barriers will only be activated when necessary and it is the only way to make sure that Venice is forever. The laguna will not change its behavior because this is only a temporary closure. Uh, this, uh, the, the number of closures will be limited, especially in the first year, so is the breath of the lagoon with the tide will be interrupted only for a few moments, a few, a few hours. So will not, this will not damage the lagoon itself. With the first test deemed a success, hopes are rising that Venice will finally be shielded from the forces of nature. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Venice.